Well, it's the holiday season, and you might be getting together with friends, coworkers, and family, and you're probably going to be eating and drinking things you wouldn't normally be having. You want to make sure that you're staying hydrated and keeping yourself healthy and feeling good this holiday season. Chris Shinup and Dr. Lauren Hendricks from Arkansas Urology are here to explain. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Thank yeah, thank you. Oh, of course. So, what do you? You have a little game for me today. We have a little game. You know, uh, since Pat was kind of doing some uh, stretches and <laughs> end of the year exercise. Exercises, we thought it's just as important to know what you're putting in your body right. as uh, kind of the exercises. So, okay. Dr. Hendricks uh, is joining us. We're going to do a quick fun little game of what's okay. good, what's not good, mm -hmm. what's uh, maybe even better that's not here uh, as far as staying hydrated. All right, all right, let's get to it. All right, so uh, we start with eggnog. I know everybody's a holiday favorite this time of the year. Okay. Good or bad? I'm going to say bad. Correct. Um, this is, it says Southern Comfort, but it's actually mm -hmm. non-alcoholic, but lots okay. of calories, lots of sugar, so dehydrating. Yes. And of course, if it's spiked with alcohol, even more dehydrating because alcohol is a diuretic. Yes, makes sense. Okay, next. And next, you know, it's 30-something uh, degrees outside, pretty cold. A lot of people, especially kids this time of year, like hot chocolate. Oh, love hot chocolate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Yeah, love so, hot chocolate. So, uh, Dr. Hendricks, uh, hot chocolate. Good I'm going to say bad because you talked about sugar, and I feel like sugar's bad, but it's also mixed with water. Right, so good and bad, I guess. Okay. Um, water, milk is usually what it's made mm -hmm. with. Those are both very hydrating. Of course, the sugar, though, is kind of the negative there. If it's the non-sugar, you know, the fake sugar, yeah. obviously that wouldn't be as much of an issue, but okay. good and bad. I good guess. and bad. Plus and minuses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, still uh, going down this uh, row of beverages, uh, cider. You know, I know that a lot of people like to heat it up, uh, especially uh, alcoholic, non-alcoholic, but yeah. um, just to kind of uh, have that fresh, festive flavor of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, cider, good or bad? I've said bad, so I'm going to go with good, just to shake it up a little bit. You're correct. Good. It's mostly water. <laughs> Again, if you spike it, then not as good. Not as good. Okay. I mean, maybe better, but not as good. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. All right. So, last but not least, it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, I know a lot of us drink coffee, just mm -hmm. to kind of get up, get out of bed, uh, especially when it's cold outside. Yeah. So, coffee. I know bad? that one's bad. I know coffee is bad. Okay. Right? I don't know. It depends on the caffeine amount. If okay. you're a weak coffee drinker, it's mostly water. That's actually not too dehydrating. Oh. But if you're like me and you like really strong coffee, the caffeine is going to get you. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, the same way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, the last one. Cranberry juice. Drum roll. Uh, cranberry juice. All this right. is actually, though. Juice cocktail. Okay, so I was going to say cranberry juice is good, but if it's juice cocktail, sugar, right. bad. You got it. Oh, I nailed it. You know what? Uh, tell her what she's won. Yeah, well, do I get a prize? You uh, get no kidney stones yeah. if you're hydrated. That's the good prize. Point. Yeah. Good point. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Very informative. Yeah. Yeah, staying hydrated and healthy. We'll be right back.